me ask you this. How do we know that God is in control? Welcome to Sunday School Made Simple. Each week, we use UMI's Precepts Digital to make Sunday School, well, simple with an easy to understand format. The text for you students of the Word and teaching tips for those of you who teach. You can find more in-depth study, resources, and joining our community at PreceptsDigital.com. Are you ready to begin? Let's pray. Oh God, you are high and lifted up and in spite of our circumstances, help us to fix our eyes on you, on your majesty, your glory, your sovereignty, your power, and your faithfulness. Teach us to praise you in spite of our conditions because our faith rests on you always coming through. Let us sing of your goodness and your faithfulness. Let us have an attitude of gratitude and bow before your sovereignty. Help us to be worshipers continuously and persistently. In Jesus' name, amen. You know, there are times when you've got to praise your way through. You know, it's not always about the warfare. There have been times in my life where I had a choice. I could either give Satan too much attention and focus on rebuking him and binding him and all that stuff that doesn't work, or I could simply just praise the Lord. And guess what happens? Like the choir who was placed before the army in the days of Jehoshaphat, it confuses the enemy and puts them to flight. So the best weapon you have is your praise. Is there a praise in your mouth? There needs to be. Psalms reminds us that God is sovereign over all the nations. This is what we're going to discuss today as we continue our journey through the entire Bible in one year. We'll look into the mirror of God's Word by discussing what's important to know. Cognitive, feel effective, and do psychomotor. The first scripture verses for this lesson are Psalm chapter 47, verses 1 through 4, and I'm reading from the New Living Translation. It says, Come everyone, clap your hands, shout to God with joyful praise, for the Lord Most High is awesome. My God, He's an awesome God, He reigns. You know that song, right? He is the great King of all the earth. He subdues the nations before us putting our enemies beneath our feet. He chose the promised land as our inheritance, the proud possession of Jacob's descendants, whom he loves. The key point is God is king. Let's examine the background and context to better understand our lesson. When the Israelites settled in the promised land, they were surrounded by idol-worshiping nations and living among people who had numerous gods. The Gentile nations thought of their gods as ruling over the areas in which they lived. This idea often filled the hearts of the Israelites, and they began worshiping the gods they found in their land. These gods were worshiped with prostitution, human sacrifice, and violence. No wonder God detested these religions. The big picture in our lesson is this. God is king. This psalm presents the enthronement of our God as king over all. No wonder everyone everywhere is commanded to clap. This psalm was composed during the period when Israel had kings, but always needed to be reminded that the almighty God was their king. The sons of Korah, the temple assistants, wrote Psalm 47 for a Jewish religious festival probably for the Feast of Tabernacles, in which Jews fashioned structures of branches and lived in them for one week, once a year, to commemorate the 40 years they lived in tents in the wilderness. Solomon celebrated that festival when he dedicated the Temple of the Lord in Jerusalem. God's presence dwelt in a tent with Israel in the wilderness. However, as the king of all nations, God is enthroned in heaven above. We read these words in Solomon's prayer of dedication for the temple. Behold, the heaven and heaven of heavens cannot contain thee. 1 Kings chapter 8, verse 27. Even Solomon's beautiful temple was not the throne of God. Heaven itself is not big enough to contain him. All of God's people worship the Lord Most High, who is the king over all the nations. 
But Psalm chapter 47 verses 3 through 4 reminds us that he chose the children of Israel specifically. God was the one who empowered them to subdue the nations in Canaan and around them. He gave them an inheritance in the promised land. But God is king over all the nations. Imagine the day when we will all be praising our God together. Our next verses are from Psalm chapter 47, verse 5 through 6, again in the New Living Translation. It says, God has ascended with a mighty shout. The Lord has ascended with trumpets blaring. Sing praises to God. Sing praises. Sing praises to our King. Sing praises. The key point from these verses is, God is exalted. Verses 5 and 6 are the center of this psalm, which was composed as a liturgical procession. When Solomon dedicated the temple, the Ark of the Covenant was solemnly brought to the temple. The Ark symbolized God's throne and the temple as his heavenly palace. So it's not hard to imagine that this psalm was used or composed for this occasion. Other processions portrayed in the book of Psalms are meant to be sung as the travelers made their way toward the temple in Jerusalem to celebrate the special festivals. This is more than the enthusiastic, raucous praise of verse 1. This is the more formal singing of praise. We're commanded to make beautiful music to our King. The final set of verses is from Psalm chapter 47, verses 7 through 9. It says, For God is the King over all the earth. Praise Him with a psalm. God reigns above the nations, sitting on His holy throne. The rulers of the world have gathered together with the people of the God of Abraham, for all the kings of the earth belong to God. He's highly honored everywhere. The key point is, God is honored. These verses portray the grand finale of history. God is now sitting upon his throne, king over all the earth. Once more, we're commanded to sing praises to him. This is a missionary psalm. It views the day when God's plan for all people is finally accomplished. God is the king over all the earth. We have an important part in the installation of our God as king over all the earth. Our job is to bring the good news of salvation to people all over the earth. Psalm chapter 46 verse 10 tells us that God will be exalted among people all over the earth. The book of Revelation speaks over and over again about the Lord Jesus sitting upon the throne. Angels encircle his throne and saying, Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and praise. Chapter 5, verse 12. That's what's important to know. How should we feel in response to today's lesson. We should feel excited about God's identity as king of everything. God is exalted over the whole earth. He is all powerful and has all authority. Although injustice may be present in the world now, God will bring ultimate justice. All leaders, whether righteous or wicked, will eventually bow before the Lord. We should be excited that the King of Kings is also our Heavenly Father. He knows us and loves us and has power over everything in our world. That's what's important to feel. But what should we do in response to today's lesson? We should praise God. It doesn't get any more simple than that. God is exalted. He's worthy of our praise. He rules and reigns and has overcome death, hell, and the grave. The Lord is good. The Lord is powerful. The Lord is the God of all creation. Our God reigns. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. That's our scripture made simple. Do you remember our key points? God is king. God is exalted. God is honored. 
Well, and it's been my honor to share with you today. For additional resources that will help you as you study or teach, I invite you to subscribe to PreceptsDigital.com. You'll find my lesson plan, special teaching tips, the word made simple, and more. In addition, you'll connect with a community of believers who are growing as they study God's Word together. I'm looking forward to seeing you at PreceptsDigital.com. Now let's close the lesson with our Keep in Mind verse from Psalm chapter 47, verse 6 through 7. Sing praises to God. Sing praises. Sing praises to our King. Sing praises. For God is the King over all the earth. Praise Him with a psalm. Psalm 47, verses 6 through 7. Child of God, the Lord is the King of kings and Lord of lords. Let's praise Him. Have a great week.